G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Audio visual time again, and this one we're going to take a look at this Kenwood home theatre ramp of mine. Now it's a uh, Kenwood KRF-V5200D home theatre ramp. And the only digital thing about it is it's coax and spit of uh, optical audio. It has no HDMI. It's been a good amp. Uh, I've had it for a number of years, as I said, and the Yamaha is what's replaced it. But I thought for this one we'd uh, take the top off it and visually see if there's anything that looks a little bit shaky. So let's get the screws undone and get into it. Okay, so to get into one of these, it's two screws here, four screws in the back and two screws on the other side. And I'm going to try and do this one-handed, but I might have to put the camera down. No, I've still got another screw to get out. Okay, so that's four screws on the back and two screws on either side. All right, let's see if we can do this now one-handed without cutting myself. No, nope, hang on, I'm going to have to put the camera down. Okay, so here we are inside it. And... Uh, You'll see there we've got a uh, fan here, as well as uh, there used to be a fan there. In fact, I thought there was a fan in there, but there's not. So we've got a cooling fan here. This is our AVIO board for all the audio, and uh, including um, ins and outs. That's our main left and right speaker outs. And then over here, we've got our digital outs and ins. We've got our video board. So this is for all your uh, component video. A fairly chunky main power transformer. And what we're going to look at, ideally, is to see whether or not we can see any, anything visually out of shape with this. Now, as I said... I had no audio coming out of mains or surround. So our main amplifier board is down on here as well. So we're going to have a bit of a look to see if anything, and if you guys happen to see anything that looks out of place other than the fact it's a Kenwood and it has no HDMI, please let me know. But you can't... A lot of transistors here that don't have heat sinks on them. As I've said in the past, I'm not a big fan of uh, of Kenwood. I don't want to uh, completely do an autopsy on this, just in case it is something minor that we can... Uh, you see here, you've got left front, I think. Is that left front? No, that's not left front. I don't know what that is. LF. Oh, well, there it is there. Okay. So, here's our power in. Now, I know the power in's all right. The problem is post the line power. Because it is literally just dropping um, audio. I don't know whether it's dropping video because I haven't used it as video. See there, we've got two protection relays there for main, front, left, and right. I can't actually see, as I said, I don't want to, see there's, there's your main volume, that's your master volume. But as I said, I don't want to do an autopsy on this because if it is just something minor, and I go and pull the thing to pieces, the chances are I'm not gonna be able to get the thing back together. I'm not that good these days. Mm, there's your uh, composite video out. Yep, so this board here is for your video. That's all your audio. This board here is for your entire front panel. I can't actually see anything bulging or destroyed. <sighs> 
Well, that's a bit of a bugger. I also can't see all the relays either, but... There's some more... Ah, uh, now. Hang on a minute. You might just be able to see down in there. If I zoom in a bit. There's a couple of Omron relays in there. Hmm. The caps aren't bulging, they're still all dead flat. There you obviously your main filter caps here. DC filter caps. That's your AC filter cap there. Now, how the hell am I going to test those without actually destroying this thing? I don't think there is a way I can test them. The thing is, it's an intermittent fault, which I assume, if I remember my electronic fundamentals, means a relay is uh, is not happy. Okay. Quick tour of the front of it. So there's the front. But, they're the input relays for memory. As well as your digital input uh, selector as well. Because your digital... Your digital controls for this are, um, yeah, uh, no, they're the optics always. So that's your, that's your digital. This is your input select system down here. But how many relays have we got in there? Just two. Well, I don't think this is going to be a, an easy diagnosis without, unfortunately, pulling the whole thing to pieces which I don't want to do because last time I pulled an amp to pieces to try and fix it, I fixed what was buggered and the rest of the amp didn't work again. So, anyway, there's the insides of a Kenwood home cinema amp or home theatre amp, I should say, non-HDMI. It's about one or two models below the HDMI model. Okay, and then obviously you've got your amplifier section through here, which is why you've got the fans. But anyway, well, if any of in this video you find anything that looks a little bit out of place, other than I said, as it is a Kenwood amp, please let me know. And uh, I'll keep you informed as to what I decide to do. But at this stage, I think it's going to, short of pulling the whole thing to pieces to test that, those relays I'm going to have to uh, sort it out the only other thing that it could be is that the power amp section the actual amplifier uh, MOSFETs under there because you can see there's one side there and there's the other side just there as you can see there if it's the actual MOSFETs because I know this is a MOSFET driven amp it's a voltage amp not a current amp for um, mains out that could be also mildly problematic i'll keep you informed thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe cheers